right, hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, I had a client visit the other day, and we had some really good topics or points that came out of our visit that I felt like might be useful to share with you guys, uh, because I feel like all of us experience this to some degree as we're trying to make things work in this modern, crazy lifestyle. And so the topic is, uh, when it comes to nutrition, you don't have to get it all in every day. You just have to get some of it in some days over time, okay? So I've got this client, She's her name's Diane, she's 74 years old, and she is amazing. She's so great. You know, she comes into these meetings, um, she absorbs everything in, she goes home, she does the reading, she does the homework, she does the documentaries, our supportive videos, and um, you know we have a pretty comprehensive food guide now and she has gone through that thing so many times marked it up so much when she comes in the guide is like falling apart she's got notes underlined check boxes all this kind of stuff i'm just so proud of her because she's doing so well right and um inevitably she comes in and and first of all she's doing great and and she, the only place that we can figure out that she can improve is a little bit of the carbohydrates thing which is a reality for most of us right so that's kind of what we're working on right now and, um, and she usually comes in here with some very specific detailed questions like, how often and how much bone stock should I drink? What if I don't drink that much bone stock in a day or that often? Or this most recent visit, you know, we were talking about plant matter consumption and um, we have this thing in the guide. Let me see if I can get a guide real quick. So we have this thing in the guide that we call the holy grail of plant matter, okay? And in this holy grail of plant matter, you know, we're basically outlining some recommendations on how to vary your plant matter so you're getting different nutrients in over time. And, um, and we morphed this from some autoimmune protocols. You know, it's giving us some sulfur, some colors, some bioflavonoids, and some other stuff, whatever. So she's like, um, you know, how do I make sure that I'm getting all these colors in every day? How do I make sure that... It, so she's read the guide front to back several times, and she's just asking a lot of specific questions about the specific information that we put in here. And, you know, I just had to get her to step back and look big picture at what we're trying to do. What are we trying to do? What is it that you want, Diane? Which is actually what most of us want. And that is, we want to feel good. We want to look good. So we want optimal body composition and we want good health markers over time. And that's what this program, the SHT, is, is all about. And specifically with the food, we really just want to do the basic things really, really well. And I told her that, you know, if you want body composition, if you want good health over time, what we have to do is eat 100% fresh real food according to our definition. We need to be strategic with our carbohydrates, the way that we talk about and teach. And we need to always be allowing and nurturing space in between meals and periods of not eating and experimenting with fasting. That's the big, basic, big picture stuff. If we can do that for a lifetime, there is no way that we're not going to see tremendous results in all areas. And the specifics about like, you know, the plant, holy grail plant matter and how much to consume of certain macro foods, like, I mean, that's stuff to kind of dial in maybe and experiment with dialing in maybe when you have the basics, you know, really dialed in for a significant period of time and you've seen a lot of beneficial changes, but, but it's not anywhere near as important and it is not primary compared to just eating real food, being strategic with your carbs and nurturing space in between meals. And, and I was telling her, like, look, um, think about what it is that you're doing right now compared to what you were doing before. She does not mess up at all. She does not have a piece of bread or anything that's off plan. She is eating 100% real food. She's eating a balance of meat to plants. And um, she is uh, you know, eating two meals a day right now, I think. And, and she has a little bit of carbs at night, maybe not measured out, but she's still moderating the amounts. I'm like, think about what it is that you're doing with that big picture. Think about what you're doing compared to the general population, which again, is this is the people that we want to help, all right? We have a lot of compassion for people that don't understand what they need to do to eat right. But um, I was like, think about what it is that you're doing compared to someone that's eating a lot of processed food and stuff. You are doing so freaking great. And to get caught up in, oh, am I getting enough plants in, in a day? Am I getting the right kind of plants in in a day? What if I don't eat this specific plant or this specific color or I miss a day of bone stock or I miss my collagen supplementation and, and on and on and on. A lot of us, because we want to do everything so right, we get caught up in all these fine-tuned specific details. And what I told her was the information that we have in this guide 
the information that you read in someone's blog post, the information that you get from a book. It's a lot of stuff. You don't have to get all of it right all the time. You just have to maybe pull from it. What are the big main principles that I need to focus on and work on those big main principles and get those dialed in or maybe work on just a couple of things at a time. You know, so once we get this food thing figured out, which I feel like she's doing really, really well, maybe one thing that we focus on is the bone stock part of it for, you know, a couple of weeks until we get some kind of a routine or um, something that feels kind of staple or ritualistic in place or something like that, right? Or maybe, you know, if you if you don't even have the food dialed in yet, maybe your first focus is just get, getting your breakfast right or just eliminating breads or something like that, right? So... A lot of times I think we overcomplicate things because we have access to so much information and even in what we put out, we put out a lot of stuff and I get it. I've heard some feedback, you know, some people have said like it's, it's sometimes it can be overwhelming because we're constantly putting out information. It's almost this constant reminder that you constantly need to be changing and doing stuff and working on things. And the goal there is not to overwhelm people. The goal is just to, to put out this information so that for the people that benefit from it at that point in their life or at that point in their journey, they can take advantage of it. But you have to fi figure out where it is that you can meet this whole process. And our ultimate goal, and I'm just going to bring it back to nutrition and food, is there's a lot of things that we can fine tune and get neurotic about and be very specific about, but nothing is going to be as powerful and nothing is as primary as eating 100% real food being strategic with your carbohydrates and nurturing space in periods of not eating so that we're training the body how to tap into its own fat stores for fuel. And if you can dial those three things in, even if you're eating the same thing every single day, if you're eating eggs and bacon for your first meal and you're having freaking cauliflower and roast beef or you know pork chops every evening, if you did that for an entire year, or maybe with some sweet potato or something like that, if you did and some fruit for dessert, if you did that same thing for an entire year, I think you would look, feel, and perform freaking amazing. And at some point, once it gets super comfortable, then you ask the question, all right, now, now what can I work on? But just focus on getting the basics dialed in, and it's going to serve you really well. All right, so I, I think that's the big takeaway is we get, there's a lot of access to a lot of information. We can get caught up in the neurosis of it, and really we just want to dial in on a few things, get those things figured out and then move on to something else and be really easy on ourselves about the whole process because big picture if we can step back and say hey you know we're doing better than we were before better is better and and if we're one of those lucky uh people who have you know we're eating 100 percent real food and um and 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 following the basic rules as far as like our carb being strategic with carbs and space in between meals you're doing really 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 good all right be easy on yourself celebrating that success and I uh, hope this is useful. All right? I thought it was a, a very motivational, inspirational moment with uh, my client there. All right.